Hello, my name is uh, Susumu Taiji. Born in Winfield in 1926, and uh, aside from three years, I have lived here all my life. Um, I think I'm the oldest person in Winfield that was born, actually born in Winfield, and still here. Uh, I'd just like to uh, talk about uh, the Japanese people that came here uh, way back and, and ultimately uh, uh, became some of the pioneers of the area, which seems very strange to me, but uh, it is a fact. Uh, I, I'd just like to talk about some of the uh, hardships that that they went through. Maybe, uh, probably no different than any other immigrant group, but uh, uh, for instance, uh, I think about things like diet. And as you, we all know, uh, the Japanese had a rice and fish diet, things that weren't common to this area, and uh, consequently uh, it became a hardship in that it was uh, very expensive to uh, to uh, get these items and consequently they had to uh, quickly change uh, their diet to the uh, local products that were available. That was one of the hardships that they endured I guess and uh, uh, um, things like uh, uh, Christmas for instance. Uh, my mother had to learn from uh, the local people like Mrs. Brinkman who taught her uh, things like uh, Christmas cakes, how to bake them, uh, the giving of Christmas presents and um, that was kind of a, you know, they had these new things that they had to learn <laughs> very quickly. And, um, the language. I think about uh, when, when my mother worked as a cook at the uh, uh, Japanese camp, or, uh, which is Seton Park today. Um, during the summer holidays, uh, uh, the uh, kids from the dairy farms, in those days they used to uh, herd their ca uh, cows along the roads anywhere. Uh, and two of the boys, uh, Ronald Gunn and, uh, and uh, one of the McCarthy boys, used to come every day and they used to stop at the camp because they knew my mother would give them something to eat. And, and that's who, uh, where she learned some of her first English words, I guess.